they're a human being just like the rest of us. And, and like I said, they're, they're not defined by how they're housed. Thanks for joining us here for our broadcast at 6 tonight. Our top story, a local pastor says an intoxicated homeless man was given a bus ticket to leave town. A Springfield police officer was also involved in this situation. Our David Chazadov joins us to break down what exactly happened. David. Yeah, David and Heather, SPD says the man asked for help and wanted to travel home to see his family in California. But Love's co-worker says sometimes when you're intoxicated, you can say things that are unreasonable. It's a situation that has made treatment of homeless people in Springfield a hot topic. Catherine Scott is a street outreach director with The Connecting Grounds, a church that helps unsheltered individuals. There is a misconception of we have to be afraid of homeless people. A lot of people are, are standoffish, but there are several people that are kind. But for those who aren't so nice. Your housing is not what defines you. It's the things that about their character that make them who they are. She encourages people who don't agree to volunteer at the church. Not just handing them a sandwich or a bottle of water, but actually learning their name, learning if they have you know, kids, that's what makes a connection and that what what makes them want to work with us more. The ultimate goal for everybody is to to help them find ways to improve. When they're not at the church, sometimes law enforcement is called. Homelessness is not a crime and, and it, it's it's really the, the police become the de facto response agency when someone sees someone who uh, acting out of sorts or doesn't they don't think they belong there. Springfield Police Chief Paul Williams says SPD is the number one responding agency. But we absolutely try to connect with all of those service agencies in the community. If we find someone who who needs connection to services, not committing a criminal act, doesn't need to go to jail, doesn't need medical treatment. Some service agencies include the O'Reilly Center for Hope and Borough Behavioral Health's Crisis Center. Connecting them with services, but also getting the police officers back then out doing what we're really supposed to be doing, uh, which is keeping people safe and fighting crime in our community. And Chief Williams says his department is there to help. And if you'd like to learn more about the homeless man we mentioned earlier, there's lots of details about his story on our website, OzarksFirst.com.